2023 Ram Heavy Duty Rebel First Drive The moment we've been anxiously waiting for has finally arrived, Ram has let us loose behind the wheel of its new Heavy Duty Rebel. Announced at the 2022 State Fair of Texas, the 2023 Ram Heavy Duty Rebel joins the Power Wagon and TRX to round out the company's trifecta of off-road dominant pickups. The Heavy Duty Rebel takes pages out of the Power Wagon playbook, including the same flexi suspension, Bilstein monotube dampers, and electronic locking rear differential and pairs them with up to 16,870 pounds of towing and 3,140 pounds of payload hauling ability. Available with both the 6.4-liter gasoline V8, 410 horsepower and 429 pounds to foot, and 6.7-liter Cummins diesel, 370 horsepower and 850 pounds to foot, the heavy-duty Rebel is a great compromise for those who need great capability and off-road ability. We recently spent the day driving the heavy-duty Rebel in the mountains of Southern California, and let us tell you, neither the scenery nor the truck left us disappointed. Heavy-duty animal off-road. We're not going to bury the lead on this one, Ram built the new heavy-duty Rebel to be the most capable heavy-duty pickup in off-road driving south of its own power wagon. And if our short experience behind the wheel is any indication, we'd say that they have succeeded. Before heading off the pavement Ram aired down the tires on the heavy-duty Rebel to something more suitable to the terrain, 45 pounds per square inch in front for the Cummins trucks, 40 pounds per square inch for the gassers, and 40 pounds per square inch in the rear for all. Our trails consisted of a combination of dirt, loose rocks, sand, and shale, with a good mix of climbs, descents, and desert whoops. Overall, the heavy-duty Rebel was darn impressive. The Bilstein monotube shocks dampened the harshness with ease, resulting in very little head toss and almost no full jounce moments. The flexi suspension kept all four tires mostly in contact with the earth while the truck's Goodyear Duratrack tires provided excellent grip. To really demonstrate the truck's ability, Ram set up a course that took us up rutted and loose climbs with more than 20 degrees of incline. Shifted into low range and with the rear locking differential engaged, the heavy-duty Rebel made short and easy work of those climbs. Less experienced drivers were left visibly in awe of the truck's ability. It was fun to watch. If we were to nitpick, we really would like to see the truck fit a 35-inch tall tire. The small increase in tire size would help relieve anxiety about both breakover angle and ground clearance at the differentials. And can we please get the 18-inch wheel option? With the standard 20-inch wheels there's just not enough sidewall for our comfort. It's a small thing, but it would go a long way. We also noticed that the rear locking differential was a bit finicky to get engaged, 